Hi everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and welcome to project number two of my Christmas um, Christmas week. So today I'm going to show you how to make this origami wreath. Um, you might have seen them around. Um, they're not as hard as they look actually, they're, they're quite simple but I would practice first on a couple of scraps of paper. Um, this one is made using 4x4 four four squares of paper um, so really you can make them any size as long as you've got 8 squares of um, paper so you could have either 2x2s two or 3x3, three 4x4 three, four four. Um, so as I said this one's 4x4 four four, um, and you can hang them on the tree you can do whatever you want with them and um, the one we're going to make today is going to be a 3x3 three three. so you're going to need 8 pieces of designer paper which um, as I said I'm doing this one 3x3 three three. and I'm using this which is the um, dashing along paper which is really pretty so I've cut 8 pieces and I've already folded 6 just to save time and that is what you're gonna you're gonna end up folding them like this okay so as I said I've done six already we need to do two more so I'm going to show you how to do it right so take one of your squares okay and then I'm just going to fold it into a point so point to point, okay so we end up with this and then what I'm going to do is just turn it this way and then we've got our, our fold line all the way down the middle so what we're going to do is just bring one of these corners just to the fold line try and get the top in in a point if you can just bring it over and then just burnish that down okay and then so we, we folded it like that okay and then what we're going to do is just bring it back up as if it were before we fold that piece and then turn it upside down okay and then turn the other do the same with the other other piece other side rather just fold this into a point as well exactly what we've done with the other bit but just on the other side okay so just bring that into the same as what we've just done so you will end up with that okay then all you want to do is this piece here we are just going to fold this round okay so we've got that and this piece is going to go round the back exactly the same which is folding it at the back Okay, and that's how you end up with that so I'll show you again so we're going to fold point to point okay and then we are going to bring one of the sides just over here to the fold line Okay, just bring that up and then turn it upside down and then fold back, fold the other side back exactly the same way. Okay, and you will end up with that. So turn it round so it's this way and then bring, fold this bit over. Okay. And then this bit is going to go back on itself. 
and that's how you end up with eight of these all right so I've got all my little pieces now what we have to do is join them together so the, one of the points here is going to go we've got this piece here that we folded over it's going to go in here and under there so just slide that in there like that okay and then this little piece here is going to get tucked in to there just tuck that in and basically that's what you do all the way <clears throat> around until you get your wreath so again we're going to take another piece this point is going to slide in here and this is going to slide down there so slide it in like so make sure the little points are together and then this is going to get tucked into here you don't need glue either for this which I think is really cool and you can I suppose if you wanted to glue it together but this one is going to go in my car actually I'm going to hang it on the rear view mirror so I'm going to put some elastic in the top of mine so again just press that down tuck that in there come out or not I think that one's come out actually that's it okay so you can see it's starting to form a reef So again, just slot that through there. Okay, that's going to go into here. And just keep doing this all the way around. I mean, I would imagine, obviously, if you do squares that are two by two, it would be a really cute little one. Or you could even go up, like I say, any size. Obviously, six by six would be a lot bigger. But as I said, you can hang them on a tree. You could put them on a card. I'm going to put this one in my car. Okay. So now we've got the last one, which is exactly the same. It's just going to join these two pieces together so that goes in there it's in there and then this one what we have to do is just kind of pull that behind because we need this and the, the end the last one can be a bit tricky to get in our found and then that's going to go in there. I think, I think put right here. And just adjust it if you need to. Yeah, that one there has come out with the back. Slot that back in. I wonder why I've got that bit like that. I think I might have put that bit in the wrong, um, upside down. Hmm, strange. Yeah, I've obviously put these two pieces in the wrong way. So I need to take this one out because it should be this way to see what I mean for the pattern to run the right way. 
and then <clears throat> also this one here. So that goes in there. Yeah, so just bear that in mind with your pattern on your paper. Obviously you can have it whichever way you want really, so I think I'm going to have mine this way. And then what I'm going to do is, where did I punch the last one, yeah, kind of just under there I punched a little hole. So I'm going to punch again just a hole under here. and that's where I'm going to pop my um, I've actually got some elastic this time because as I said I want to pop this around the rear view mirror so I want quite a bit of elastic because it's got to go around the mirror so probably yeah I'll cut about sorry everyone the camera just turned itself off there. Um, so yeah, I've got the elastic in and what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to pop a couple of these cute little Christmas bells on and then it'll make like a little jingly noise which I think will be sweet. Pull it at the back so we don't have to see the little knot. And then what I've done as well is I've just tied a little bow from some ribbon and I'm just going to pop that on with a glue dot. And then I'm going to pop this in my car in the morning before I go to work. So a couple of glue dots. <clears throat> there we go. Isn't that just so pretty? I think they're gorgeous. Now, <clears throat> I don't know what's happened here, but <laughs> this was made with 4x4. Four four. This was made with 3x3, three three, and yet this is bigger. Now I think what it would be, if you wanted them smaller, I think you would use only six pieces of paper. Like you would make them three by three, but only use six pieces and then it would be smaller. I think that's how it would work. But anyway, just practice, like play around with the size. As long as the square, you know, like two by two, three by three inches, whatever. Um, but yeah, they're lovely, they're really pretty. Absolutely love them, especially this one. I think the colours are so pretty. So yeah, I'm going to hang this one in the car. So you could also make one for your car maybe. Or you can make them smaller, pop them on the tree. Whatever you want. You could even put little gems on or do anything. So that's project number two. I will be back again tomorrow with project number three. So thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.